Rachel Reeves was posing in the Murdoch Times this weekend as the tagline crow she was ditching Jeremy Corbyn's magic money tree. Well, that'd be the same magic money tree that paid for the pandemic that has been shaken to find extra money to help cope with rising heating bills that can always be relied on to be rustled for a pay rise for MPs, would it? I've said it before and I'll say it again. A country that has full control of its own currency can always find money for things. The catch is ensuring the tax take removes enough of that printed money so you maintain control of its value. This doesn't have a thing to do with Corbyn's 2019 plans at all, however. Reeves wants to scrap Corbyn's plan to tax those earning over £80,000 a year, instead favouring hitting the pockets of buy to let landlords and those making money off dividends from investment portfolios, both areas of revenue that isn't taxed by national insurance. It's a good idea, but why not do both? Why one or the other? Corbyn's plans are only a small raise in tax revenue for the wealthiest earners. Is your hatred of Corbyn so severe you can't countenance accepting any of his ideas? Oh, what am I talking about? Of course that's not the case. You claimed credit for this windfall tax on energy companies when you lifted it straight out of his 2019 manifesto, didn't you? More likely it's new, new Labour's desperation to attract donors, and instead of taxing such people more, they want their money in Labour Party coffers instead. Dory style, having lost so much revenue from pissed off former members and trade unions. Party of the workers indeed, as long as those workers are on at least 80k a year. Today, Reeves is bitching about how Sunak is paying for this extra energy bill, rather than just accepting it's something that people need. We control our own means of producing currency. The Bank of England, under instruction from the Treasury, just has to type some numbers into a computer and voila, there it is. Reeves is either economically stupid, economically dishonest to question this, or economically embarrassed as the Tories once again go further than Labour said it would. Such is life when you tinker with other policies instead of leading on big issues. It was dishonest for Corbyn's figures to be questioned previously when that administration went to great pains to show everything would be paid for via their grey book published alongside their manifesto. Reeves' attitude now is point scoring nonsense, rehashed Tory attack lines when people need this help regardless of where it comes from, and it's a very unwelcome move when she ought to be demanding it goes further since it doesn't go far enough. Petulant point score in politics is something we're all bored of, and it's all Labour does these days.